Hi, I'm Eric Hawkins from Park Tool. This is Max, one of our engineers, and we're here to tell you about the new products for this year. So, we're going to start out with hooks. Park Tool was the originator of the storage hook back in the 60s, and these are our newest version, which are the 471XX and the 470XX, a wood thread hook and a machine thread hook. Great for fat tire uh, wheels, uh, fat bike wheels, uh, anything big you want to put on it, just big, ginormous hooks. This is a 15 millimeter hex wrench. Tell us what this is for. This hex wrench is for removing the free hub bodies on Shimano 12 millimeter through axle hubs. Just that simple. This is a shop scissors, the SZR1. Hard to say, but very handy. Uh, we can use these for bar tape, uh, zip ties, packaging materials, Shop opening boxes, right, anything you want. Just a, gen uh, a nice general utility scissors. This is our new CP1 cassette pliers. And we're going to show you how this works, actually. It's very easy. It works on any uh, uh, free wheel or uh, cassette cog, 9 to 24 teeth. You just grab right on, no adjustment necessary, and loosen it right up. It's really easy to use, just slide right on and you're done. This is our TWD-15. Uh, it's a 15 millimeter crow foot that goes on your torque wrench and uh, works to measure the torque on pedals. This is an SW 7.2, which is a three-way spoke wrench, our home mechanic spoke wrench, and uh, it replaces the SW 7, but it's just a nicer shape, feels better in your hand, very smooth, and uh, just a great take-along tool or a, a good tool for the home mechanic with three different wrench sizes on it. These are two new tire levers, so tell us about these tire levers. We have our new TL 1.2, which replaces our TL 1. Um, the main change in this tire lever is the material. It's a new material that's stronger and slippier than the older material, so it'll release a bead better and grab tighter beads. It also has a new chip design that allows better access and adhesion to beads. We also have the TL 4.2, which is a total redesign of our TL 4. Um, it features the same material updates, but it also has a completely redesigned tip that allows you to grab small beads, or tight beads, as well as spoke holders. Stronger, slipperier. Exactly. These are new master spoke wrenches, master mechanic spoke wrenches. These are investment cast, heat treated, machined. The, we already have two master mechanic spoke wrenches that are four-sided. This is a three-sided wrench, so it's quicker to go on and off a spoke nipple. Um, it also is, has got a different shape to it, so a little easier to hang on to. It's lighter weight, nice smooth edges. This comes in two sizes, uh, SW20.2, SW22.2, which are the equivalent of the black and the red spoke wrench, our regular spoke wrench. Zero and two. Zero and two. Tell us about this. HCW18. This is the uh, much requested replacement for our SPA4 yellow spanner. Um, and it is a single piece bottom bracket wrench that fits both the two prong bottom bracket standard as well as the three prong. Great. These are picks, utility picks. Um, a nice strong magnet on one end, and then three different pick picks on the other end replaceable picks, what would you use these for, Max? Um, lip seals, bearing seals, O-rings, so working on shocks, working on hydraulic disc brakes if you're overhauling calipers, basically anything where you need to get something out of a tight space. All right. This is our IR1. So tell us what this works on. This IR1 is an internal cable routing kit, and this is going to solve a lot of problems for mechanics these days. Um, basically, it's a kit that allows you to route cables much more easily inside a frame. 
It's a multi-cable system, so you send one cable in from one end, the other cable in from the other end, they find themselves in the middle, and then you draw it out whichever end you want to. They have three different ends. There's an open end over which you can slide housing. There's a boot into which you can fit electrical fittings or hydraulic fittings. And there's also a bar that will work on housing as well as hydraulic hose. It also comes with a guide magnet so that if you run into any tricky geometry inside the frame, you can pull your way through. Going to save a lot of time, a lot, a lot of, of aggravation. And you'll have more hair and more thickness. Right. These are all bottom bracket tools. These first three are CNC machined aluminum that anodize and laser engrave. They're very accurate, non-marring finish. Uh, tell us what these three fit. These three tools uh, fit different bottom brackets. The DBT69 fits your standard external 16 point bottom brackets, typical old Shimano standard. The BBT-59 fits the new Altegra bottom brackets, again, 16 point. And the BBT-49 fits the new XTR and Dura 16 point external bottom brackets. This is uh, the BBT-19.2, and this is a replacement for the BBT-19. It, it's a, a cast steel, uh, heavy duty shop tool. Uh, we've, we changed the manufacturing of this to make it much more accurate and uh, to fit a wider variety uh, of cups. We have two new fold-up tools. You may recognize these. They are smaller versions of our AWS 9 and 10, which we've been ma making for about 15 years. Composite body and then uh, heat-treated steel fold-up tools. Uh, these are the AWS 13 and 14 and they have a three millimeter, four millimeter, five millimeter hex, uh, a T25, and a combination Phillips flat blade screwdriver. We have small, and then we have smaller. Great for taking along. Uh, they actually have a, a little key ring uh, loop here, so you can put them on your keys if you want, or they're just a really nice size to take along. Very lightweight. Very lightweight, Very nice and compact. Bag. This is a tiny wrench. Yes, this tiny wrench is for the tiny bolts that Shimano put into their Shadow Plus rear derailleur clutches. So if you remove the clutch plate or the uh, clutch cover on the Shadow Plus derailleurs, you'll find little bolt heads, and this allows you to adjust that clutch mechanism. All right. Two new reamers and a pilot. Tell us about those. This new reamer is the IS-52 lower headset cup reamer. It'll fit on our HTR-1. This is a Shimano press fit bottom bracket standard reamer, also for the HTR-1, and this is the corresponding pilot for that reamer. So you use this in conjunction with a facer. Exactly. So you're reaming and facing, yep. and if you don't want to ream, then you use the pilot in the place of the reamer. Yep, for PF, you always face, Right. may or may not ream. Yep. Got it. This is a dummy hub. Yes, it is. Tell us about the dummy hub. The dummy hub goes into frames in place of a rear wheel. So if you are in the shop working on a bike or cleaning a chain, etc., and you have the rear wheel out, you can put this in place. This spins freely so that you can pedal the bike. It moves across this so you can put it in in whatever gear you would like. And this cog will also slide over a 12 millimeter through axle. Right, so if you've got a through axle, you just take it off, put it on your existing axle, and basically you're making the same functionality. Right. Uh, this is a, a change to our BCB4 uh, brush kit, which uh, has four brushes to it, but we've replaced one of the brushes with this big, soft, fluffy brush, just for general cleaning, uh, mostly on flat pan surfaces. But uh, this, is, this change, we dropped one brush and added this brush in, uh, it, I, and I think it's a nice change. It's a nice, soft brush. This is the DT5. So we made a DT1 and a DT4, and this is going to replace the DT1.2 and DT4.2. So tell us what this does. This will face all of your uh, disc brake mounts, whether they're post mount or IS mount. The critical change that we've made is that we can now face post mounts that are found inside the rear triangle, the chainstay mount, post mount disc brakes. We've offset the cutter 
from the driver so that you can reach the hard to reach places. And it also works on post mount and tab mount, exactly. just like the one in the four did, but with this added feature that exactly. we can get in that tight spot. It's the same that those did and more. Right, and so it comes in this whole, as this whole kit here in the box. This you may recognize as a trimming stand. So we make the TS 2.2 Chrome. We've been making it that way for 40 some years. We have actually the TS 2.2 now uh, that we, re we revised a few years ago. This is the TS 2.2P. And the P signifies that it is powder coated. So it's the exact same stand as the chrome plated version, but it is powder coated in world famous part tool blue, of course. So other than the color and the fact that it's powder coat, the stand is exactly the same. It's a lower priced version of our chrome plated TS 2.2. So now the last thing I'm going to show you is uh, PRS 3.2. This is the PRS 3.2, and this comes in two different versions. PRS 3.2-1, and this is the PRS 3.2-2, which uh, features the micro-adjust clamp. The uh, dash one features our, our traditional aluminum clamp. The biggest difference in the PRS 3.2 is that we've changed the way that you can adjust it in height. It comes with a new pin, a locking pin, and it also features our lock lock system, which we use on the top tubes. So basically, you just loosen this, you can raise it right up without unbolting it, and I put the pin back in, and then tighten it up. Quicker to adjust and more secure. Yeah, it's, and it, it really makes this upright rock solid. So no more bolt and nut to take out and raise it. Um, you, it's a quick and easy adjustment. So that's it for this year. All those tools should be available uh, from your favorite supplier. And uh, thank you for choosing Blue.